Transport operators regularly hire out plant equipment and trailers. This can be a really good way of generating extra income from assets that are not being fully utilised. But there are some things you need to think about before you start. The first is that if the vehicle's financed, you need to check the financing documents to make sure that you are actually allowed to dry hire that vehicle to a third party. It's also really important that you make sure that your insurance policy will cover you in the event that your vehicle or your plant and equipment's dry hired. You should absolutely have a written hire agreement. It's very important to document the terms on which you're parting with possession of your valuable plant and equipment. Having a written agreement makes it so much less likely that there'll be disputes over what the parties did or didn't agree, and it will help you keep you out of expensive disputes. There are a lot of issues that you should cover off in any hire agreement. It's important to know exactly who you're hiring the vehicle to, uh, or, the, or the plant and equipment to, what their ABN number is, what the term of the agreement is, when can you get the equipment back, you also need to think about issues like who's responsible for repairs and maintenance. And as I said before, it's really important to work out who's responsible for loss or damage to the vehicle and for the insurance of the unit that you're hiring. If you don't have a written agreement, there can always be an argument later as to exactly what you agreed to. Arguments are expensive and they often end up in court proceedings, so you'll end up Having, you may end up having difficulty getting your equipment back and as well you may end up in court with a dispute over who owes what to whom.